Hello, welcome back. My name is Chris Miller, and in today's video tutorial, we're going to take a look at WP Migrate DB Pro. Now, that's a mouthful, isn't it? It's made by Delicious Brains, who create some really amazing plugins for WordPress developers to just help make things a lot easier uh, for us all. Um, this particular plugin will take a look at how it can migrate the, the database to and from different environments, local development staging, production, whatever else you might have. And more than just the database, it also helps us to move theme files around, plugin files, and the media files as well, all the media assets. Now, even if you have a deployment process for say your WordPress theme and GitHub Actions or some other method of deployment, uh, that's great. And if you have your uh, plugin versioning or your own custom plugin that you uh, host and deploy and, and you have some sort of other way of getting that up there, that's great too. But the database and the media files both still remain a pretty big issue for WordPress developers and moving those things around from different environments. So in true ad lib style, we're going to be doing this uh, off the cuff. And uh, if we run into some mistakes, we're going to figure out how to troubleshoot those along the way. So let's get started. We're here on our local and I've got my Plugins already downloaded. Now this is a paid plugin, so you will have to purchase it. It's it's so worth the money. So just go ahead and pick you one up, especially if you're developing a lot of WordPress sites. Uh, I'm gonna open up that folder there and we're gonna keep it here for just a moment. We're gonna come here to our local. So we are on our uh, local site and we're gonna click on the add new up top and click on upload plugin. I'm going to go ahead and uh, start moving these zip files over. So uh, there's a couple of ways you can do this, depending on if you're Windows or Mac. We can obviously click the button and say upload file, or we can click, drag, and drop it on the button there. I believe this all only works in Chrome, by the way. And we're going to say install now, but we're not going to activate yet. We're just going to say go back to plugin. Go back to the plugin installer page. And we're just gonna go ahead and move all of these over. And while we're doing this, I'll sort of explain what each one of these are. are. Oop, sorry, hold on. Um, each one of these serve a different purpose. Uh, one of, them, one of the, the plugins is the core of WP Migrate DB Pro. Uh, another one handles specifically theme and plugin files. Uh, another, did I just do the same one? Okay, cool. Another handles media files, and another is the command line interface. Oh, I did it again. I can't talk and work at the same time. And we'll, we'll take a look at these here in just a second. Okay. All right, let's go back to plugins. We should have five. Great. Okay. So WP Migrate DB Pro, um, that is going to be responsible for export, push, and pull to migrate WordPress databases. WP Migrate DB Pro CLI is for the command line interface. It allows you to do some pretty cool stuff. We're not going to cover any of that in this video, though. Uh, and we actually don't even need it. So I'm going to go ahead and delete it here um, since we're not covering it. WP Migrate DB Pro Media Files handles, you guessed it, all the media files that you would have uploaded to your site. WP Migrate DB Pro multi-site tools. We actually don't need that as well. So we're going to go ahead and delete that. But that's if you're handling a WordPress multi-site, which is, again, out of the scope of this video. And then we have WP Migrate DB Pro, whoop, DB Pro uh, theme and plugin files. So we're going to go ahead and check these three off and click bulk actions there and say activate and apply. Now, with these three applied, we will find this under Tools. And if we scan below, we can see Migrate DB Pro. So let's go ahead and click that. Uh, we will need to put the license key in. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and go to Settings. And we're going to scroll down. And I'm going to paste in our, uh, our license key. Obviously, we have ours blurred out here. Uh, do not share your license key. Uh, but let's go ahead and activate it. Okay, great. All right. Now, what we need to do before we do anything else is let's go to our staging site. 
where we want to go ahead and push this up to and let's get let's go through the same process we're going to get the same plugins installed over there and we're also going to use the license key over there as well so let me go ahead and flip this around we're on our staging site called test.millertchris.com and we'll be destroying this site after this video so I'm gonna zoom in for us here so it's a little easier easier for you all to see and uh, this is a completely fresh environment and it's different from from our local environment our local environment has uh, different plugins even than, than this one does uh, so we're gonna click add new and click upload and let's go through the same process but we're not gonna do all five we're gonna pay attention this time okay there's core let's go back all right what's that one CLI we don't need that we do need the media files so we're gonna oop. Here we go. click and drag install upload and the theme and plugins install okay now we're gonna go black we're gonna go back to plugins and we're gonna highlight these bulk actions activate and there we go so now let's go to tools migrate db pro down here on the bottom and we're gonna go to settings and once again paste in our license key. Okay, great. Now, we're gonna go back to the top here. And uh, sure, we'd like to help. So we're gonna go ahead and click that. You don't have to, you can click no if you'd like. Let's go back to the uh, local site. Sorry, I spaced there for a second. And go to my great DB Pro, sorry. And say, yes, I'd like to help. Okay, great. So now what we need to do is on the staging site, we need to go to our settings and we need to enable the staging site, uh, enable it so that we can push to it or enable the pushing option. So back here on the uh, staging site, test.millertchris, click on uh, settings here and we're going to say permission. Yes, we're going to allow us to push to this. We also need to copy this connection info here as well. So I'm gonna click on copy to clipboard and we're gonna come back over here to our uh, local and we're gonna click on new migration and we're gonna select this option here where it says push. I'll briefly cover some of the options that we have here, but we're gonna focus mostly on this video pushing up to staging. So you have the option to pull so if we wanted to pull from staging down to local, we can do that. That would replace the database and also bring um, some any new additional media library uh, files or new themes or new plugins. Uh, import database, I believe that option, I don't use that frequently, but I believe that is going to import specifically a database that was exported from WP Migrate DB Pro and you can do that, export it just as a, as a file. Uh, push, it would be the opposite of pull. So we're going to be pushing in this video up to staging. Same thing for export database. We can export this out into a database file. Find and replace for uh, searching the database or finding and replacing all uh, URLs. So maybe every local uh, instance of a local URL, maybe we want to rewrite that to some other type of URL. And then backing up the database, which I don't know if I've ever used that option to be quite honest. So, um, well, at least not with this plugin, but yeah. Click on uh, push, and we're gonna go ahead and paste in that URL that we copied from the staging site that was provided to us in the settings screen. And once we do that, we're provided with some helpful information here. Now, uh, if we click to expand this drop down here, this says push all tables, which we will do, but you can push uh, just a certain number of tables if you want. We're gonna say we're gonna push all of the tables of our database. Backup remote database. So before we replace the staging database, we can back up the staging database, but we're not gonna do that for this video. 
Advanced options, um, replace GUIDs, exclude spam comments, exclude transients, and do not push the active plugin setting. Very helpful settings here, but again, we're gonna keep this video basic. Just wanted to have you, uh, or give you a, a glimpse uh, of what's underneath the options here. Post types, migrate all post types or migrate only selected post types below. Again, lots of great, powerful, helpful options. Definitely check those out uh, when you download the plugin. They're there. Let's move on to the nuts and bolts though. So by default, there are two types of URLs that are saved in the database that you will want to find and replace. And WP Migrate DB Pro handles that for us automatically. I do suggest that you double check it though before giving it your blind trust because if if any of these are wrong and you push it up, it can very well take the site down. So in this instance, it's saying it's going to find every instance of test-site.local and it's going to replace it with test.millertchris.com, which is accurate. Same thing for the file path. And I misspoke a minute ago. I said two, two different instances of the URL. It's actually a file path is the second one here. So this is my local file, file, file path on my computer. And we're going to replace every instance of that with the file path up on the server, which is accurate. Okay. We also have the ability to add some more find and replace rules here, but we don't need that for this demonstration. I do want to push up the media files and I'm going to push up all media files, but again, helpful options here if we only want to push some up. Now for the theme files, we're going to push all themes. And for the plugin files, we're going to push all plugins. So let's go ahead and click push. Now, since this is such a small site, this really shouldn't take that long. Um, these were just demo sites that we spun up for this video. And it looks like that the table or the database is already almost done. And that media file, uh, there might be one or two uh, media files. There we go. And the themes and then the plugins. Now what happens when this is all done is they've baked in a, um, a cache clearing mechanism where it has a, a flush rewrite rule uh, set and you might see a flash of that whenever it wraps up. But it's very helpful to make sure that uh, once the push is complete that when you visit the staging site it should reflect what it needs to reflect and be a duplicate of your local. Great, so it's done. We're gonna go ahead and come back here. And what has happened now is that our, we're having to log back in since the database was replaced and a lot of the login information could have also changed as well between both instances. I believe that the login session as well was killed. So we're gonna to go to have to, to re-log in here. All right, and let's go ahead and click on pages. And in fact, these are the pages from our local site. And we can see that the site updated up here, the site name says test site as well. So black demo, portfolio, one through three, and test page draft. If we come over here, we should see the exact same thing. Black demo, portfolio, one through three, test page draft. All right, that's it for this video. If you enjoy these, if you enjoy these videos, please hit the subscribe button below. If you have any questions or suggestions, drop them in the comment section below. And if you're on Twitter, come find me at Miller T. Chris. Thanks so much. Come check out some of my other videos.